What does eating 1600 calories do to your body? Today I'm going to be putting that to the test. I get loads of comments from people saying they're eating 1500 to 1800 calories a day and not losing weight. It's frustrating, it's sickening, and if that's you, this video can help. So let's look at what 1600 calories actually looks like. Now over here is going to be my meal one for the day, it's going to be a protein shake and a fibre bar. Breakfast is going to be my main meal of the day here, which is going to be some fruit, some hex sausages and some spinach. Then we're moving on to the lunch meal, which is going to be a tuna pasta dish. I have a chicken salad for dinner and then we have these with a cream egg as well into the bargain to finish off and round off the evening. And this might be you, you're frustrated, you're fed up and the scale just isn't moving. I get it, I've been there myself. Having coached over 600 people in the last five years, I can clearly see that people are being misled when it comes to calories every single day. Let's take this healthy breakfast option for example. Some granola and some orange juice. You look at this and you think, you know, this breakfast is a few hundred calories. So this is the recommended serving size for a glass of orange juice, 150 milliliters. But we all know that the reality is this is probably far more likely. And this, laughably, is the recommended serving size for granola. When in reality, you're probably having close to four servings. This is more like the actual serving size, which is four times the recommended here and three times the recommended here. And this comes out to over 1,000 calories. Not to mention the fact it's got zero protein. My starting weight for this challenge then is going to be 74.2 kilograms. So let's see how that impacts over today. Meal number one for me is going to be this protein shake and also a fiber bar. We're going a run this morning, so I just need something really quick, easy and digestible so that I don't get like gastro stress or anything when I'm running. So it's nice and light, high in protein to kick off the day. This is my first full meal of the day, which is going to be my hex. My spinach, I did have my pineapple as well post run, but I ate that as I was cooking. So this is my first full meal, 30 odd grams of protein, and it is good to go. Easy, quick and convenient. This is my third meal of the day, so we're going to be having a chicken salad. Now for me, when your calories are low around that 15 to 1800 mark, having a salad at some point during the day is a game changer. There is literally nothing in this. The lettuce, the beetroot, the, the corn. Mm, the high protein from the chicken is exceptionally satiating and is going to help my stomach expand and give me the feeling of being full. So incorporating a salad each day makes a world of difference. Just finished up my lunch meal and I always get a bit of a sweet craving in the afternoon. So to combat that, I'm going to have an iron brew extra and my cream egg. I'm going to save my chocolate yogurts for later in the evening when I come back from badminton. But afternoon of work, this just helps me stay through to around 4 or 5 p.m. and I'm good to go. This is meal number four for me. So this is one and a half tins of tuna, around 15 grams of light mayonnaise and 40 grams of pasta. Now this is my biggest meal of the day. When you're trying to control 1600 calories, you have to weigh things out because it can be very easy to overeat and overconsume foods if your calories are low. This is my final meal of the night and because I am a huge chocolate fiend, I've got some chocolate protein mousse and a chocolate protein pudding. Going to get me 40 grams of protein and around 300 calories. Plus, finishing off with one Iron Brew Extra, which is just the same as a Coke Zero. Now, a couple of things to, to take from today. I'm on 1600 calories. It's probably about 300 lower than normal. So I am pretty hungry just now. I was in low in energy. I'm just back from playing badminton there. This isn't a huge long-term sustainable calorie amount for someone who's as active and who trains in my weight. Um, yes, it's probably going to take a kilogram to a kilogram and a half off my body in one day, but ultimately it's not a long-term sustainable approach to fat loss. If you're stuck and struggling when it comes to calorie intake, get serious about tracking and measuring your food. More often than not, when people are stuck or hit a plateau and think they're on 15 to 1800 calories, it's more just a mistracking of the nutrition. So dial it in, get focused on a plan and break through any plateau. 
And the impact on my weight after just one day was a drop of 1.1 kilograms. Pretty huge. What will 1600 calories do to you? Let's figure this out. So let's take the example of a 200 pound or 90 kilogram male who exercises three to five times per week and has a sedentary role. The first thing we have to work out is your total daily energy expenditure, which is this number here, which is gonna be roughly 2,800 calories. Now you can get these from online calculators. The formulas aren't perfect, but they're gonna get you in the ballpark. So this means consuming 1,600 calories a day if you were actually consuming that, would create a 1,200 calorie deficit, which in a week equates to 8,400 calories. There is one pound of body fat for 3,500 calories, meaning you would lose 2.4 pounds of body fat in one week. The likelihood is you're gonna lose excess water, glycogen, things like that also. If you enjoyed this video, go and check out the I Tried the World's Worst Diet in a Day to show you what 1,600 calories spaced across each meal looks like.